with regards to aliens do they exist and what sort of alien civilizations exist so the information given to us in the quran as we know that we are not able to document even lowly life forms like unicellular life forms anywhere uh, in the universe we are not able to document but still the quran mentions in surah shura surah number 42 ayat number 29 Allah says, وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ خَلْقُ السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ And amongst his signs is the creation of the heavens and the earth. وَمَا بَثَّ فِيهِمَ مِنْ دَابَّةِ And of the creatures which he has dispersed throughout them. That is, the creatures which he has put in them, in the heavens and on, and on earth. So there are living beings besides this earth also, in the heavens, in the universe. So this is clear, this verse clearly indicates that there is some life form which is existing in the universe so but we are not able to document we have not documented any life form as of yet so what we are thinking we are we are trying to look at the life from our perspective we see that the life originated as mere chemical compounds carbon hydrogen and nitrogen and after that amino acids and cell form and we try to look like we, we try to search like that but what quran tells about other civilization so the quran tells about another civilization which are called as the jinn jinn literally it means from the arabic root it means that which is hidden they are hidden they are in a higher dimension they are higher dimensional beings the jinn they are hidden from a from our side but they can see us the quran mentions in surah araf surah number 7 ayat number 27 allah says that innahu yarakum min haythu la tarawnahum that verily he that is jinn satan and his tribe can see you from but you cannot see them they see you from a place from uh, you cannot see them but they say you so that means they are in a higher dimension these uh, jinn they are higher dimension and they are energy based creatures quran says in surah hijr surah number 15 ayat number 27 allah says that wal janna khalaqnahu min qabl min nar samum that allah created the jinn from smokeless fire and they were created before qabl before mankind they were created so they jinn they exist before mankind and they are created from smokeless fire that is they are created from energy they have a fierce nature and they are energy based so for where what where we are looking we are looking at life to mere chemical compounds so how we perceive our life originated so but they are energy based creatures and they are a, they are in a higher higher dimension they can see us but we cannot see them and similarly they are energy based creatures they can shift they can take different forms but we have just this one physical form and they have men they have still they are having different sort of powers which we are not having that is they are able to demonstrate that which is mentioned in the quran that they are able to transport uh, one object from another they they can do teleportation also so the alien life is always not where we are looking so even we can understand that life can have different sort of forms which we are not able to grasp as of yet or we may not grasp forever because uh, as our evolution will be further into the here after then we'll be able to see the reality of this life so that is the case further that the quran says that they the the jinn they are able to influence the mind they are able to influence the mind that's that's why it's mentioned in surah naz that min sharril waswasil khannas that you are taking refuge from the whispers or the suggestions into the heart by jinn by by shaitan in your mind in your heart that they they put influence they put suggestion in your minds so they have the power to read minds they have the power to suggest they have the power to alter imagination so all these powers they have a sort of a telepathy you can say 
so they can do shape shape shifting telepathy they are energy based they are in a different dimension or a higher dimension because we cannot see them they can see us back so all these things they indicate that what we see that is alien life that also exist but we are not able to document or we are not able to go to other planets and find life but again quran is telling us that there is a life form this type of life form jinn but you are not able to perceive them so that's how but we should try to go back to our scripture and look what uh, the knowledge it has given us so and the, they have the power of uh, influence over us even that many people they say that even the technology has been suggested or it is suggested in the dreams of certain scientist so that's how technology has come this far so many people have this claim so uh, that is the thing but they have a power of suggestion they can influence mind they can uh, they can put something in your dream that is possible because what we see as a dream they they can have uh, the influence in their 